we go. Mods been all 28. Hobby Lob is 27. Three inches taller is Jorge Masvidal. Everything else is virtually identical. And once again, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a combat sambo fighter holding a professional record. 16 wins, one loss, standing 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Dagestan, Russia, Rustam Tiger Abila. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record, 25 wins, 7 losses, standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, John McCarthy. Big John McCarthy, our referee. Vanessa and Chrissy here tonight, our UFC crew. Raising money for the intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund. Get it off. And here we go. Tonight's clock brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Red trunks for Hobby Lob, purple trunks for Jorge Masvidal. Oh! Big shot early. Big right hand right over the top. Fake the shot, changed levels, came overhand with the right, connected. Again with that right. Nice connection. Both men, good grapplers, good wrestlers. Masvidal's had three fights in his career where he's had over six takedowns. If you looked at it on paper, you would probably give the striking advantage to Masvidal, you would give the grappling advantage to Habibov. But oftentimes, when a guy is worried about someone's grappling, that's when striking comes into play. The great fight between Krokop and Kevin Randleman is a perfect example. Krokop worried about the takedown, Randleman leaps in with a left hook and knocks him out. And that's happened so many times in MMA, it's one of the things that makes the sport so exciting. And you have to think about one thing, that's how oftentimes when you caught with the other thing. So far, Masvidal with a very patient approach. But now he knows that Habibov is winging that right hand over the top. To the body. Uh, they both meet in the center of the octagon again. Big swing and a miss by Habibov. Good right hand on the break by Masvidal. Masvidal threw a couple leg kicks earlier in the round. He's definitely going to want to soften up the legs of Havilov. Slow down that shot. Faked it again. He stepped in and elbowed that time. Tried to come up the middle with the elbow. Havilov trains in Albuquerque, New Mexico at Jackson's MMA. There's the big overhand right again. Yeah, it's coming at a strange angle. It's like the Chuck Liddell style right hand, where it almost comes at you like a windmill. Oh, uh, nice change of levels. Good combination there by Havilov. Masvidal still presses forward. There's this, the clinch, and he breaks free. Nicely done. Big shots on the... He's got it this time, though. Deep on a single. Can Masvidal defend? Shin on the outside. He trips it. Trips it to the front. Good job by Masvidal. A kick to the body on the break. Great very start. Well done. To this very evenly matched lightweight fight. Both men 2-0 and in their young UFC careers. That was good. Let's go. Hobby Lobb, 16 career wins. Masvidal, 25 career wins. Good kick to the body there by Masvidal. Masvidal feeling very confident now that he's able to stuff those takedown attempts. Flying knee. Taken down, though. Trying to get a hold of the neck is Hobby Lobb. Masvidal keeping that left hand down to the ground. 
make sure Javier can't knee him. Times it right, back up to his feet, lands a nice knee to the body on his own. Nice, and another nice knee to the body. And they're out. Masvidal scoring well. Masvidal doing a good job in the clinch. And in that clinch, usually Hobby Lob takes people for a ride, but he couldn't do so there because Masvidal was effective with his striking. Another flying knee attempt by Masvidal. Masvidal very confident now that he's been able to avoid those takedowns. Yes. Masvidal has the third best takedown defense in Strike Force history. So he is well versed at staying on the feet. But he's very technical, Mike, in all aspects of the game. He does everything correctly. His last fight was against Michael Chiesa. He had a Chiesa, his first pro loss. Masvidal, a true veteran of this sport. And if Masvidal is confident enough to throw these kicks and avoid the takedown, this could be a long night for Habilov. Not a nice knee to the body. Tonight's corner cam brought to you by Presto. Don't let overheating it. Overheating kill your engine. Press yeah. stone it. It was good. Read. Listen. This round, the end of the round, you won. We know that you run. All right? You got to keep the same rhythm. He doesn't have much of you. You know, if you step back, you can see everything. If you just step back when you throw the combination, you can see everything. The knees are working pretty well. You hear me? George, listen, you got to punish this guy a little bit more. You got to keep the same rhythm that you keep it right now. All right, we got to win this round. We don't know who won this round. So we got to win this round. Keep the same combination. Step back and go back with everything. The leg kicks are working. The knees are working pretty well. Okay? And here we see the big overhand right by Habilov. And there's a body shot by Habilov, a left and a right over the top. But a lot of success by Masvidal, especially the in the later part of the round. You ready? Get up. And growing confidence with that strong finish. Round two, Masvidal and Habilov. Habilov on a five-fight winning streak. Talked about some of the significant wins that Masvidal has earned. Joe Lozon, Eve Edwards, KJ Nunes. We talked about Kiesa. Hobby Lob, known for those devastating suplexes. Haven't seen one yet. Combat Sambo back there. Well, it's going to be even more difficult now that they're both sweaty, right? Masvidal goes to the body with that kick. Good leg kick. Levels again. Don't forget UFC fightforthetroops.com 877-747-HERO. Every little bit helps. Again, it goes body head with that overhand right that you described earlier coming from that odd angle, Joe. Nice job there. Leg kick, right hand counter. The leg kick landed though and he went to the body as well. See if he goes low with a couple more kicks and then changes it to the head kick. Nice knee. And he slips right out of it. Habilov, very ineffective in his grapple. And that is because of the defense of Masvidal. So what Masvidal has done thus far is take away the biggest weapon possessed by Rustam Habilov. That doesn't mean he doesn't have other weapons, but he's taken away the big one to the body. That was a nice left by Masvidal, and a right hand over the top. Midway point of the fight, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And he's ducking right under that right hand now, just out of the way of it. Oh, he nailed him with that left, though. Masvidal has ten career wins by knockout. work 
back in the clinch. Nice knee to the body by Masvidal. Vicious elbows here. Masvidal stepping over the right knee. And Havilov on his feet. Masvidal's got to be careful about that wizard. Joe, this is also a battle with two great training camps, great schools, Jackson's MMA and American Top Team. Now it's Havilov wanting to shoot and take Masvidal back. He's in position. Don't play the game, George. Keep it down. Just keep it down. Tom McCarthy saying, don't play the game. If you're going to be a down opponent, keep your hand down. Really impressed with the takedown defense of Masvidal. And even when he gets taken down, he's right back up to his feet. Yeah. Kind of drag down there, right? Look at this. He's spinning around. He's trying to take down Hobby Love. 20 seconds remains in this round. He's holding on to it. Turning the corner and he's back up. Wow. Final seconds of round two. Sir. Okay, let's stop. Sit up. Calm down. Very good, Rob. Stop. Keep breath. Calm down. Slow. Slow. Slow this down. You stop. Very good, round. You win the round. Okay, listen. You have to be smart with stuff, okay? Uh -huh. Punching, striking, move your head. You understand me? Uh -huh. Wrestling, I don't care about. Go ahead. Be a jerk, be a jerk, always being a jerk. Sevens and fives are there. Ups are always there. All right? Take him down. Five. You know he's going to take him down. Look at me. You know he's going to take him down. Breathe. George, five minutes is nothing. Look at me. You do the eight rounds there. Just five minutes is nothing. Look at me. You're going to win this round? Go, got to win this round. Win this round. Okay, Joe, how about Saturday night, UFC fight night from Brazil, Vitor Belfort, Dan Henderson. That is a legend matchup, <laughs> true, real, all-time great. Vitor yeah. Belfort, former right. light heavyweight champion, Get Dan up. Henderson, former pride, two-weight champion. I mean, real legends of MMA. And both guys still throwing down at the highest level of the game. Vitor certainly on a roll with the head kick knockouts. And Dan Henderson very, very hungry for a victory. <laughs> UFC Fight Night Saturday from Brazil, right here on Fox Sports 1. Third round, Masvidal Havila. Masvidal's corner very concerned about that second round. They think that Havila may have won that round. And they want him to really go after Havila and make a statement on his third. for the right hand. Well, for the most part, we've seen Javi Law previously, Joe, throw people around, not for very long, against...
partially defended by Masvidal. Back up. Wow. Wow. Now it's Masvidal trying to get top position. And Joe, that's what I started to say. We had seen Hobby Lob throw people around. Tonight we see a striking and right on cue, boom. Who expected that though? He nearly finished the fight. Still looking for the choke. Masvidal on top now, inside control. Wow, quick hip escape. And Hobby Lob back up to his feet. Great recovery by Masvidal. Midway point of the third and final round. Still a lot of fight to go. Man. Can he stuff it? Yep. most significant strike of this fight. Masvidal just tosses Hobby Lob down momentarily. Looking to lead with the elbow. Flying knee. Hobby Lob's tired. Both guys are tired. Masvidal carried that teep a moment ago. Masvidal staying in the pocket. He tried to spin him back, kick him himself. Hamilton jumps on him. He rolled out of that. Nicely done. Tried to roll it to Noma Plata. Under a minute now. He hit the switch. He's got Hamilton's back. Man, they are so sweaty and slippery now. Stumped again. Get it up, George. Thirty seconds. to the body by Hobby Lob. They go the distance. Who will remain unbeaten in their UFC career? And what a spinning back kick landed by Rustam Hobby Lob. Yeah, that was a very unorthodox looking wheel kick. We landed like the foot to the neck, the flat of the foot to the neck. Let's take a second look at it. It was an awkward angle because how close Masvidal was. But look at that. Foot to the neck. Great fight at 155. The official decision is coming up next. Many of the men and women of the 101st Airborne Division have recently returned from deployments across Afghanistan. However, the unit's colors or headquarters are still downrange, and many screaming eagles remain in harm's way today. We are grateful for all that our military men and women and their families sacrifice for our continued freedom. This is UFC Fight for the Troops to benefit the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund from Fort Campbell, Kentucky, sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. Javi Lam and Masvidal go the distance with the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30-27, 29-28, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, 
Rustam Tiger Havilov. Unanimous decision victory for Rustam Havilov. He goes to 3 and 0 inside the octagon. And what a job he did with that spectacular kick, the move of the fight.